potentially historic deal is reportedly in the works between Washington and Riyadh that would include normalization between Israel and Saudi Arabia. The New York Times says the United States is working on an historic comprehensive agreement with Saudi Arabia. The main components of the proposal would include a massive security pact between Washington and Riyadh. The proposed normalization between Israel and Saudi Arabia, the proposed normalization between Israel and Saudi Arabia would reportedly include a commitment from Jerusalem to never annex Judea and Samaria, halt new construction, transfer parts of Area C to the Palestinians, and reopen talks for a two-state solution. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu gave three interviews to leading U.S. media over the weekend devoted mostly to questions on the government's passage of the reasonableness bill, continuing protests, and growing division in Israel. Netanyahu strongly defended the legislation, called for compromise moving forward, and expressed doubt that the High Court would dare strike down the bill. Meanwhile, several Likud ministers and MKs are indicating they may not back any more judicial reform laws without broad consensus. Defense Minister Yoav Gallant is reportedly willing to go even further, pushing for a national unity government to counter the strife in society. Jew hater Kanye West is back on Twitter. The artist, who goes by the name Ye, was reinstated on the newly named X social media platform that replaced Twitter. West was suspended eight months ago due to violations of platform rules prohibiting incitement to violence after one of his posts appeared to show a swastika symbol inside a Star of David. Ye has yet to post anything new since coming back on the platform. The head of the Anti-Defamation League called the reinstatement absolutely sickening. So, we know the news is volatile and fast-paced. And we want to let you know that ILTV's new app is now available. So if you want to stay connected to the latest news from Israel, the Middle East, and the Jewish world, download our app now on all your devices. It's available in the App Store for both Android and iPhone.